Hello everybody, my name is Pastor Bruce and uh, today's When God Shows Up devotional comes from the chapter, or excuse me, the book of Isaiah chapter 49. And we'll take a look at verses 5 and 6. Wait, what was that? Isaiah, Isaiah 49, verses 5 and 6. And Isaiah's in the Old Testament. Just, yeah, got it. Just remind you. Okay. <laughs> um, and now the Lord speaks. This is from the New Living Translation, by the way. And now the Lord speaks. He who formed me in my mother's womb to be his servant, who commissioned me to bring his people of Israel back to him. The Lord has honored me, and my God has given me strength. He says, you will do more than restore the people of Israel to me, I will make you a light to the Gentiles, and you will bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. Uh, the reason I thought this was such a neat passage is, um, considering that it is an Old Testament reference, um, you know, God's been in the business of pursuing humanity ever since the beginning when Adam and Eve messed up. And I just think this is such an awesome reminder to the nation of Israel uh, prophetically announced like centuries before Christ even appeared and to know that God has already worked through his prophets here Isaiah saying that you will be a light and I will bring a light who is Jesus Christ to be that hope not just to it will be through my chosen people Israel, but not just to them, it is going to the Gentiles, meaning everybody who has the ability to have salvation from anywhere to the ends of the earth. And that to me is like major living hope and awesome truth of how the light of Christ can penetrate throughout the world. What are your thoughts? That's deep. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like the Great Commission in Matthew when God oh, says, yeah. go, that's make great. disciples of all nations. Like, that's yeah. our purpose, to be a light to the ends of the earth hmm. forever. Love it. I agree. <laughs> it makes you stop and think, what are we doing? Like, right mm -hmm. now, what are we doing? Are we are we all focused in on ourselves? And, mm -hmm. and even, like, right now, like, we go to Bible studies, we go to all these different things, and, and are we just all getting information and not doing anything with it, or are we all out doing what we need to do to bring people mm -hmm. in and not being focused on ourselves? And I think it's really important for all of us to be that light outside in the world. And I think it's, it's great to, to make sure that, that we're not self-focused and, and we're not worried about what's all going on internally and mm -hmm. to be out there doing that. Right. So it's real important. Yeah, there's a wonderful element about, you know, being the church and gathering mm -hmm. to worship and so forth, um, which is empowering in itself. And yet the purpose is to actually go out yep. of that family, mm -hmm. our community of the church, mm -hmm. to bring the light and hope through the our world. good works to the world. Mm -hmm. And yet also salvation comes through the word of God. So mm -hmm. being able to speak the truth mm -hmm. and the hope of love love of Christ that, that is just really an encouragement it's a it's a challenge and so I would just challenge all of us at this point you know when we are going through the Christmas season be that light of hope be that light of life to those people around you through your works through your your voice and be the light Merry Christmas